I'm so cool. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's been my favorite movie since I turned four years old. I got the movie on VHS for my fourth birthday. I begged for it. So picture three-year-old me begging for the movie about the skeleton guy, falling in love with it, and then I'm still absolutely obsessed with it. I even have a little shelf in my room dedicated to nothing but Nightmare Before Christmas and Tim Burton materials. If you were stuck in a room with Peach and Daisy, you only had food and a bed, and all they were saying was, I'm the winner, what would you do? Okay, well at least I can eat and sleep. Other than that, I would probably punch them in the face until they passed out, just over and over again, um, and find some way to leave. Will you answer this question? Yes, I will. Why are you such a big fan of Tim Burton? It's kind of funny that this question was asked in the same video segment as the question about my favorite movie. Um, I'm a huge fan of Tim Burton because he made my favorite movie of all time. And I love his creepy cute style. If you know anything about me, you know I love creepy stuff and you know I love cute stuff. So putting the two together, that's my style. I could live in a creepy cute house, like a haunted house that was totally cute forever and be the happiest person in the entire world. Like I'm the kind of person who I want my basement, like in a house I have someday, to be a creepy basement on purpose. Like I love creepy stuff. I don't know if it's because I was born close to Halloween. I've just always loved it, so I feel like Tim Burton represents that, and he really loves that too, which is why I love him. Have you heard or are you excited about the Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer game? Um, well, I know that this question was asked several months ago now, so the game wasn't out. It's out now, I love it, and I was actually excited for it before it came out because I love decorating houses in any kind of simulation game. Hello, I love The Sims for a reason. So Happy Home Designer is a great game and I do love it. Since gaming is a big part of your channel, will or would you ever do a Nintendo game collection? Thank you for taking the time to do this Q&A. Well, thank you for the thank you, first of all. I appreciate that. Um, second of all, I think that's a really good idea. I never really thought about it, to be honest, but I just recently totally cleaned out my room and reorganized everything and got rid of a ton of stuff because I just had so much stuff. And part of doing that required me to go through all my games and see what all I had, and I even tweeted a picture of all my DS games that I have, the original DS games that survived my collection that I never was like, oh, I'll never play this again, and sold. Um, which is something I do a lot. I have a pretty quick turnover with games if they don't meet my quota. So, um... That's actually a really good idea. If you guys are interested in seeing me show off my Nintendo game collection, please let me know in the comments because I'd be willing to make a video about that, no problem. Hey madam, my question is, what made you want to get into dancing and what age did you start? Well, I already answered this question technically in this series, so I'll keep this answer brief. I was two years old when I started dancing and it was by my own willpower of my sister starting dance class and me following into the dance room behind her when I wasn't supposed to and then I just, that was it. I kept doing it. Do you support gay people? Absolutely I support gay people. One of my best friends in high school and growing up, really just one of my really good friends growing up, was gay and came out at a rather young age to me, not really to anybody else, and I have just, I've I never really noticed a difference. It's kind of weird that people make a big deal about it or that it's even a talked about subject to me because growing up from the time I can remember I have an older sister who is 10 years older than me. Her best friend was gay. Actually she had two friends that were gay and I never thought anything of it. I mean I guess I was so little like she's 14 with this best friend, I'm 4, that's when you really start remembering things. 
I didn't even notice. I had no idea that it was even a thing, that it was a big deal, that, oh my god, girls liking other girls or boys liking other boys is weird. I never got that. I was just, I grew up seeing that. It wasn't a problem. I saw that in the dance world as well. Again, wasn't a problem. I never really understood that. That was a big deal until I got older and realized that people made a big deal about it. And I was like, this is a thing? Like being being gay, being deemed gay or straight is a thing? I, I don't even notice it. So it's just so natural to me. I am a supporter by nature. I don't, it's not like something I realized later and was like, ooh, I'm gonna support that. It's just totally normal to me. First of all, let me tell you, your artwork and craft work is so cute! <laughs> now, for my actual question. If you could make a game, what would it be about? Who would you get to do the different development tasks? What would it be called? Characters, etc.? Well, thank you so much for supporting my artwork, first of all. Second of all, this is a really detailed question. I could really answer this in depth, and I've kind of answered this in this series already in different ways, so I'm gonna try and answer it in yet another different way. Um, if I could have any game, I mean, it's almost like too broad just to say, hey, have any game. Um, because I, my mind just is like, oh my god, a hundred ideas at once. Um, but if I were to pick, like, based on my favorite styles, I would say I definitely want it to be a platformer. Um, I would definitely want the hero to be female. Probably a character that doesn't exist already, somebody new. And I would want it to be very cute. I'd want there to be lots of animals, kind of like Animal Crossing, only... Not like that, but you know how in like Super Mario Bros, there are the enemies that walk around and Goomba's not really an animal, but Koopa is? I'd want it to be kind of like that, where the animals were just like your helpers and the objects were your enemies. Um, and have it be kind of a, I don't know, almost like a girly puzzle that, you know how My Little Pony, for whatever reason, appeals to guys? I'd want it to be like girly, but appeal, appeal to guys too. Like, I wouldn't want it to just be a girls game. Um, but I, yes, I would definitely want it to be a platformer with a really awesome female character. Not necessarily somebody like Samus, because Samus is somebody that's like, oh my god, she's so tough. Oh, whoa, she's a girl. I don't want it to be a secret. I want it to be like, ooh, she's this awesome girl already. As far as the title is concerned, I really don't know. I would want it to be kind of along the same lines, something about this like super awesome girl who gets bad guys taken care of. And I'm sorry if you can hear that noise, I don't know what is happening outside. What's your favorite thing to do in your free time? One of my favorite things to do in my free time is exactly what I'm doing right now. It's making videos. I love making videos and it is one of my favorite things to do when I have a free moment. It's been that way since I was a little girl even. I would record like little skits with my friends and skits by myself and just record anything and everything I could and make videos all the time. I love day. I, I love filming and recording both. And um, that's another thing I love to do. I love to get together with my friends. I hardly ever get to do it. So it's kind of like, oh, I want to see my friends. But everybody's so busy at this point in life that um, it's very difficult. But if I had my way, I would see them more often. Something else I love to do in my free time is crochet, which is kind of obvious because I do it obsessively. And then, of course, gaming, but I think that's kind of a no-brainer. Are you excited for Mario Maker? Yay! Mario Maker looks super cool. I still haven't tried it, and I've heard a lot of great things about it, but it's just, you know, I haven't put the money into it. I still need to rent it or something to actually try it out, but I think the idea is fantastic. I'm kind of surprised it didn't happen a little sooner, to be honest. What countries do you wish to visit, and why? I would really love to visit Japan. And my sister, one of my sisters is actually in Japan right now, so that might actually happen sooner rather than later. I have wanted to go there ever since I realized that, hey, all the stuff I love comes from Japan. When I was like um, a kid going into my teenage years, that was when I really was like, wait a minute, that's where all this stuff comes from. I want to go there and see that because it looks amazing. And their culture just embraces this cute nature and this cute kind of phenomenon that's taken over and been like, woo! Um, 
everything's cute. So I kind of love that. I would, I feel like I would really just embrace that kind of culture there. Um, another country I would love to revisit because I've actually been there is England and um, France. I loved Paris, I loved London, I loved both, and I would love to see more of Europe in general. Um, but especially those two cities, really. I love. I would love to go back to London and Paris now that I'm older, because I went when I was 12 years old. So going as a kid is a lot different than going as an adult. So I would love to go as an adult. And let's see, where else? I also want to go to Canada because my favorite TV show in the entire world was filmed in Canada. One of my best friends lives in Canada. I need to go to Canada. Hey madam, what were the first mini games you played in any Mario Party game that you remember? Oh, this is a good one because I have a really good memory so I can actually answer this. I'm one of those people who like I have to fake how good my memory is sometimes because I would just totally creep people out. Um, so let's see, my first mini, I think the first mini game I ever played was probably the worst mini game possible. Um, it was Mario Party 1, it was Slot Car Derby, I'm pretty sure that was my very first mini game. What a terrible mini game to be your first. Slot Car Derby? Ugh, and I remember I played it with two of my sisters, we were playing against Computer Mario, we all hated it immediately because Mario won, obviously, because we didn't know what we were doing. And um, yeah, so that was one of my first ones. I think Tipsy Tourney was the next one I played. I'm pretty sure that was another one um, that I played super early on, but I did love that one. That was a lot different. Um, let me think. I want to say that I'm trying to remember really what the first mini games were I played of more recent ones like Mario Party 8 I think Rotor Rooter or whatever was the first one I played and I was kind of like what the world is happening but I loved the music um, Mario Party 4 I remember playing Avalanche what the heck is the name of that game whatever it is Avalanche you know what I'm talking about where you have to like run away from the big giant snow hill that's happening um, and the reason I remember it is because one of my best friends at the time, I'm still really good friends with her, she was like, oh, we're gonna play Avalanche? And I was like, no. <laughs> so that always has stuck with me, I've always remembered that. I've been sent from my mobile phone. My favorite food is pizza. What is yours? Well, I love your favorite food too. Pizza is also one of my favorite foods. But if I absolutely had to choose a favorite food, like this is the food I would eat for the rest of my life, it would be ravioli. Like cheese ravioli with marinara sauce. It's my heaven. Or tortellini, either one. Any kind of stuffed pasta with cheese, because I'm a vegetarian, I'd be like, oh, I love Italian food. It's my favorite style of food. I, it's not, it's just too good. Which Mario game do you think you are a complete expert in besides Mario Party? Laugh out loud. Well, the first thing I naturally want to say is, oh my god, Mario Party, which, duh. Other than Mario Party, when it comes to being an expert at a Mario game, I would definitely call myself an expert at Super Mario Bros. 3. I've played that game since I was three years old which means I've been playing it for like 22 years. Um, it's one of those games that I know every level, I can beat every level, I could play that game with my eyes closed in some cases. Like, I, I feel like I could confidently play certain levels with my eyes closed and beat them and be perfectly fine and be a no-brainer. I know the secrets in that game. I just know the mechanics and I, I'm just, I've always been really, really good at that game. So that's one that I would consider myself an expert. Like I could play and be like, great. I do consider myself an expert at Mario Party 1 and 2. And it's kind of like, okay, how do you, how do you consider yourself an expert at those games? It's really because I'm confident that I could win every single mini game every single time if I really like focus. I mean, when you're recording and you're doing commentary and stuff, it's kind of like you do stupid things naturally. Um, but I really do think, you know, that's a game that it's again a no-brainer. I played it so much for so many years. I love it. I, I consider myself an expert at all those mini games, and I do tend to make people kind of um, annoyed when I play with them because 
I'm a little obsessive. Uh, <laughs> Another game that I do consider myself an expert at in the Mario franchise is um, Mario Kart Wii. I could ace Mario Kart Wii, love that game, probably played it more than any other Mario Kart. I mean, that sounds weird because I've had Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart 64 for longer, and I played the crap out of those two. But I just feel like I'm better at Mario Kart Wii for some reason. Probably because I played it every single day for eight hours straight, pretty much, or like seven hours a day. I'm not even kidding. In the summer when it came out. Thank you guys once again for watching yet another installment of my Madame Wario Q&A session. It is getting close to the end of this particular series. I believe there are only two more episodes worth of questions left. So I do want to thank everybody in advance again for submitting your questions and waiting patiently for your questions to be answered. Any questions submitted in this video will only be open to text answers. Um, so I will try my best to answer as many text questions in the comments section as I can. But as far as on-screen questions go, just as a reminder, the question period is closed. So uh, thank you so much for watching this, and I'm, I really have just loved this so much. Loved answering all these questions so much. So thanks again, pimps, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I'm trying to think. I want to say that my first Mario Party 6 game was... Mm. No, I'm thinking of the wrong one. That's wrong. Miss!